Hi everyone, my name is Kieran. Welcome to my channel. Today I would like to share with you how I made this dress using products from Dollar Tree. On a recent shopping trip at Dollar Tree, I found several pairs of these scrub pants and I absolutely love the color. I think they're so pretty. And when I saw them, I thought I could take them and make them into something, but I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to make them into yet. And then once I got them home, I had the inspiration to turn them into a dress. So I've always loved to sew. My mom is a seamstress and I've always watched her sew, but I am not the best at sewing yet. It's something I love to do, but I'm still learning. So the techniques that I use here might not be the best way to do things, but I'm learning as I go. So to start this project, Project off I am using a seam ripper and if you're new to sewing definitely get a seam ripper you are definitely going to use it so the first thing I did was I took a pair of the pants and I took the seams that are on the inside of the leg and I was able to take the seam ripper and go through and split those seams I wanted to use this first pair of pants to create the skirt for the dress and so I went through and I separated those seams and as you can see I now have the seams completely separated on both sides I then wanted to get some fabric to use in that space where I had split the seams. So I took a second pair of pants and I actually just cut them a little bit below the pocket so that I could use the leg portion of these pants as like the main addition to the skirt of the dress. And the one thing I definitely did was I tried to utilize the seams as much as I could. So I really tried to minimize the amount of of um, seams that I was taking apart because I wanted to just make it as easy as possible so a lot of the hems I left as they were um, and I definitely try to utilize as much of the existing pair of pants as I could so then I went through and I split the seams on these two pairs of, of the two legs of the pants and I'm going to use those as an insert to make the skirt more full on the dress. So now I have two pieces of fabric that I can use as an insert for the skirt. And what I wanted to do was create something that would be able to fit right between um, the seams that I had ripped on the, the end seams that I had ripped on the other pair of pants. And at first I wanted to make sure that they were symmetrical. So on the one side of this, I have everything lined up and I'm actually just cutting off the excess material so that it lined up perfectly with the seam. I then was trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to cut this fabric to make it fit in that um, section right between the, the two legs of the pants. And so I finally decided to take the fabric and cut it into like a triangle piece because I wanted to make it look full but not have too much extra fabric and I felt like having a little less fabric at the top where it was going to connect to the pants would be a little bit easier and make the skirt kind of look a little bit more like a mermaid style. Um, and so I just went through and I cut the fabric at an angle in the middle that you see right here That is the seam of the one side of the pants. So I as I said, I tried to utilize as many of the seams as I could to um, Decrease the amount of, of sewing that I had to do to the piece since there were already so many great things that were on the fabric I wanted to try to keep as much as I could so that I didn't so that I had to do less work with this project So now I have this triangle piece of fabric that I am going to attach to the pants, the inseam of the pants. I believe that's what that's called, the inseam. And I went through and I just laid everything flat and I tried to separate it so that I could then take pins and attach this piece of fabric right in the middle. And I think it turned out pretty well once I went through and was able to sew it. Um, like I said, I am by no means an expert at sewing. I just sort of go through and do what I think I should be doing. Um, it's also important to note that I have the right sides facing each other for this. And then I went through and I was able to sew that. It is a lot of fabric, so that was the one thing that was a little difficult was having all of that fabric in the sewing machine. Um, so yeah, I just attached right sides together and then I was able to just stitch that and use my sewing machine for that like I every time I use my sewing machine I have to look up a video on how to thread the bobbin and do everything so um, I'm definitely a newbie but I really enjoy taking things and kind of trying to turn them into other like fun pieces of clothing so um, I'm just stitching the skirt together right now
So now I'm going to make a top for the dress and this is part of a pair of pants that I had used that I'm actually going to use for sleeves for the dress. So I got another pair of pants and I was able to go through and cut out the bottom part of the legs. I wanted to get a new pair of pants because I wanted the top to be a little bit longer and the part that I'm using for the sleeves was just a little too short. So then I was able to take the pants and cut them and again used my seam ripper to sort of create a like kind of like a, a top, um, but I definitely needed to do some sewing and hemming for this. So I tried it on to see how it worked. I knew I needed to do some hemming and I thought it was gonna look great. I just sort of gave, looked at it and thought, how long should I make the top? I tried folding the top down a little bit. I was like, maybe I could tie a bow in the top and use that as a, an extra detail. Um, but I decided to not do that. And I had actually decided to remove the drawstrings from this. And this is what I was sort of thinking about, you know, with the sleeves, just having them sort of attach on the side. So I was able to then go through and start laying the hem and figuring out exactly how long I wanted the top to be. I did end up having the front of the top be a little bit shorter than the back. But when I actually put the piece together later on, you'll see that this is actually tucked into the skirt. So you can't even really tell um, that it's a little bit shorter in the front than in the back. So I just went through and pinned that and then I was able to go through and sew that as well. And definitely a learning process through this whole um, adventure of sewing Dollar Tree items. Um, but I'm learning so much. I definitely broke a needle for my sewing machine in this process. Um, I'm trying to think there were a couple other things. Oh, I completely misthreaded uh, the machine and sewed an entire section and actually wasn't sewing anything. <laughs> it was just poking holes in the fabric. Um, so yeah, so definitely a learning process. So I was able to stitch the hem for that and then I pulled the drawstring out because I just didn't want to use it for this piece. Um, and now I'm going through and getting ready to create the sleeves, which is definitely one of my favorite parts of this outfit. So I took that extra piece of fabric that I had and I was trying to decide exactly how I wanted to do this because I wanted to utilize the elastic at the top. So I went through and I trimmed the extra at the bottom just to make sure it was an even length. But I wanted to make sure that I was utilizing that elastic part because that definitely was going to make um, making this uh, outfit fit me a lot easier. So I went through and I used a seam ripper and I was able to remove the stitching from the sides. And then I went through and attached the, um, the two pieces together. And I actually made a mistake here. I thought for some reason I wanted to attach the um, material with on with one way and I ended up going through and having to cut it and change it because I had accidentally attached I think I attached the wrong sides together so that I needed to go through and attach the right side so I ended up trimming it but I wanted to make it sure it fit and it did so again I used my seam ripper and I was able to fix that mistake it really wasn't a mistake it was just something I wanted to to make look a little nicer and I attached the wrong sides no, I attached the right sides together and then I was able to stitch those and create these sleeves and it's definitely one of my favorite parts of this outfit. I just think it makes it look so fun and so summery. Now I'm checking them to see if they work and I think they are absolutely perfect. I love how these sleeves look. I just think they're really cool. For the next part, I decided to actually hand stitch these uh, sleeves onto the top because what I was doing was I was stitching the elastic part to another elastic part and I knew that my sewing machine would not like that um, because I had just before this broken a needle in the sewing machine. Um, so, and, I, and it was when I was sewing something that was too thick. So I just definitely decided to hand stitch these and um, made sure they were really, really, really secure because I wanted to make sure I could move my arms while I was wearing them. One thing that I learned with this part of the process is sewing through two layers of elastic is not fun. It's actually really difficult because the elastic is really thick. I then went through and hemmed the sleeves. I really liked the length so I really didn't change much of that at all. I just gave it a little bit of a hem so that it had a more finished look to it. During this process I also learned a lot about pin location, trying to figure out the best way to 
use pins to create a hem or do you know different things with the item but having it not interfere with sewing um, it's it was a little bit of a tricky process for me but I think I did a good job and I'm definitely learning a lot then I also hemmed the skirt the bottom of the skirt and what I tried to do was utilize parts that already had a hem as much as I could so two parts of the skirt already had a hem and then I went through and just made the hem on the other unfinished parts of the skirt the same length so I really only had to hem two smaller parts which made it a lot easier so I didn't have to try to get as much fabric into the sewing machine. It was at this part of the process that I was really feeling accomplished and I just felt like all of the hard work was paying off. I would like to share with you the finished product. Let me know what you think of this Dollar Tree dress. Hi everyone, so here is the finished product. This is the dress that I made out of three pairs of scrubs, scrub pants from Dollar Tree. So the skirt is one pair of pants with two legs from another pair um, taken off separately. The sleeves are the top of the leg pair that came from the, that went with the skirt. And then this is the top of a third pair of pants. So yeah, I really like it. It feels very summery fancy and something else that's really cool about it is that it has pockets here it has pockets here and i also left the pockets right there on the sleeve so you know you could just carry all sorts of stuff with you so yeah would you like to see a spin what do you think sean is my cameraman do you like it yeah yeah that's good you did a good job thank you What do you think? Looks great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has like a little bit of a train to it. Do you see it? Mm -hmm.